Welcome to the Board Game Snobs Podcast. Critically harsh reviews with a touch of class. Go. So welcome to the podcast broadcast of the Board Game Snobs. I am uh, Hans, a.k.a. the Bubs, the GQ with our brothel lights hanging up, all red and white. Why thank do, you, thank why, you for I coming. Wanna, I, okay, <laughs> so we brought up... So that we, uh, he two, said he wanted it sexy. I did a sexy oh, intro. Right, two yeah. things, two things. Red light district sexy? I know, man. I did my deep voice. I did my berry. I did my berry. All right, well, that was a good berry. Thank I, you, man. I did want to address this. Number one, this is the sexiest more podcast about oh, board yeah, gaming. Yeah. Also, why do we have red lights... Why we do, do have, have a lamp that is red? <laughs> don't, don't worry about it that. It is brothel-like. <laughs> tenants. You have brothel lights. Brothel-like. Don't worry about that. Uh, I didn't know that they like had that type of shade when I bought it. Mm. But I kind of like it. I know, right? Sets, Sets the, the mood. mood. Right? Sets yeah. the mood, right? Mm. We the all ambiance. romantic. Good it's a ambiance. sexy mood right? for a sexy podcast. Well... That was Bubba. That was what he said. The elusive Bubba for which we are always referencing. Our he, first time recorded. First time recording <laughs> with us in the studio, as well as Jerry, who's always here, Gabby, who is currently drinking, and Enrique. What? Thanks. You're, oh, no. Go ahead. Introduce I, that, yourself. That was just wonderful. How's you your kidney? That, well, Enrique. Kidney. What a, Enrique. <laughs> yeah. Quit, quit messing with the ramekins. Get your well, hands they're off here them. in front of me. Get okay. your hands you know off the ramekins. You how I am with things. I have to mess with them if they're in front of me. It's just well, how he I does am. have sleeves on today. He is not wearing an undershirt, and I can see your body. My, my. <laughs> his, 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 his godlike. It's a very body. thin white shirt you're yeah. wearing. But it's, he is wearing sleeves. No, it's a very transparent shirt. It's not thin. It's just very transparent. That's ex- that's what that, are those it? interchangeable? I don't know. <laughs> that's what we like about you, Enrique. You're very transparent. That's right. And <laughs> why are we having four people on the podcast today? Why? Because you've got two extra snobs. You got Enrique, and you got Bubba. Snobby snob. We this is Snobbin all, Hood. Wait a minute. I think it's not Snobbert Redford. <laughs> really. This is what bed snobs and broomsticks. And there he goes. This is what we're going to talk about today. (laughs) This is our Mm. Viking podcast because we have Viking listeners. Boom. They like to snob and pillage. Snob. No. No. It's it's dope. dope. I've done some. Okay. Well. You might as well just say this Viking theme is now ruined. It's not ruined. You can't you ruin a Viking theme. I, I the, it was quite glorious. The very thing about Vikings is that they bring other people to ruin. That's true. That's exactly what this is. And in this podcast, we're going to be reviewing three games for which we have recently played. Uh, actually, without not just recently played, we've played again. Uh, Vikings 878. Yes. Is it 878 or 868? Yes. Uh, 878. 878. 878. 878. Champions of Midgard. 878. AD. Ammo. Domini. Anno. Mm. Domini. Domini. Okay, thank you for that. <laughs> Anno for year. Uh, the base word for anniversary. I feel, I feel Denva mm. writing us an, an email right oh. now to, to straighten you out. Uh, just, to, just to make sure. We could do like basic research on Isn't what AD Latin? stands for. Isn't that for. Latin? It is Latin. So technically, I'm sure we're not saying it right. We're not saying it right. Yes. Have we ever pronounced anything Latin correctly? No. Uh, we also... not e pluribus? No. Out of many... That one? Sounds, the cheese. That sounds like No, hair. it doesn't. That sounds like hair. too. The big cheese. E Sounds pluribus. Like yes. That's on the money. Yes. No, that's that's out of many one. That just this never mind. So, Why am I even talking? So yeah, see, so yeah, I didn't know what it meant. What we are going to talk about is those three games: the Vikings seven eight seven point three point five, uh, champions of Midgard, and Raiders of the North Sea. Raiders. So you, you do realize I've only played one of them. Well, boy. you're here for the important one, which Thank is you. Vikings eight seventy eight. Who's your favorite Viking? Of all time. My favorite Viking? Yeah. Uh, it would be uh, Michael Douglas in Vikings. You Michael know, Douglas. Yes, Michael Douglas. He played Viking. Uh, give me a moment. He was the son of the of the chieftain. He got what, his, what are you talking about? You don't remember that show? It was like during the Spartacus days. He did Spartacus, but around that same time, he did a show just called Vikings. And My it was, favorite one is Dante Culpepper. Who's... Is that a football reference? Uh huh. Yes, sir. That is. So, like, so literally, at- three of our listeners are going to get that. <laughs> I got Whatever. it. Well, there's two. <laughs> there's two. I got, there's two. <laughs> I got uh, it. Is he a Minnesota Viking? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I, I was going to ask y'all this. How is that related? 
No, not how's that related. But are there actually Vikings in Minnesota? Yes. Randy Moss. No, I'm one. talking about not the <laughs> sports franchise. I'm talking about actual people of Viking descent. Were they not called something else first and then they came up with Vikings? Isn't that what it was, like in the 80s? I, I have no idea. Well, that's like, are, are there Raiders in Los Angeles? No, I'm, <laughs> well, I, I mean, well, well, yes. <laughs> you wait till electricity go down and everybody is a Raider. No, that's true. <laughs> awesome. that's true. But beating back to Minnesota, Minnesota? is there actually Minnesota. people? Are there that actually are, Vikings there? Uh, from Viking descent, I want to know. I'm sure there are lots of people from Viking descent, <laughs> as, the, as per the way the Vikings operated. So uh, I'm not sure. getting your subtle message. They uh, well, well, but the reason I bring this up <laughs> is that apparently everybody in Iceland or Leaf like, the Red Leaf was it he won Leaf the Leaf Red Erickson Leaf Erickson or the Ryan Leaf phone guy? one of those two no no Leaf Erickson he's the guy that came over and discovered um he he was the guy from Norway he came over and discovered the he, this before Columbus. Oh, he 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 was the one that apparently for so he's the guy that found America before, before Columbus did, did, but nobody had, he was like nah, he didn't it. call dibs though. Yeah, he should have. <laughs> y'all should have got. They did Canada, right? Yeah, they hit Canada. We claim all that. Canada. They should have done yeah. that. Should have got that line. And Chris is like dibs on America, Newfoundland, Newfoundland, Newfoundland. 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 Is yes. it Newfoundland? It was Newfoundland. Yeah, if he had just went south to a little bit. Uh, well, they should be a Viking did. country. They did. You know, I think Columbus really only. Speaking did South of America. Vikings, we have a couple that follow us now. Yes, from from Minnesota. Is it Greenland or Iceland? Iceland. Iceland? Oh, Iceland. What's Iceland. the capital of Iceland? Reg- Reykjavik. 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 Oh, and he wanted us to try and pronounce his name. His name is very easily to pronounce. It is Christopher Jorgensen. Christopher Jorgensen. Yes. It was I, easy. I think that's it. You know, they they, they say learning that language is one of the hardest like... ways. <laughs> what? It's, it's hard to learn that. Christopher? To learn. Christopher? Yeah, I mean, just to say anything. From it's the, actually, is his family. brother Valdi? His brother's Vald the Viking. Oh. Christopher is the brother of Vald. And apparently they have a, a, a board game convention over there called Midgard. Oh, yeah, I read that one. Midgard. Yeah, Midgard. It's pretty How cool. do you pronounce his name, Bubba? Um, Give it a try. Can I try the last name? Do yes. the last name. That's what we want you to try. <sighs> I got this. Google Johnson, son? Yes, that's exactly. Spot on. Is that spot on? What's the first one? Uh, Chris Lefer? Chris Lefer. Chris Lefer? It's like Christopher, if but we keep with saying fur. it, it yeah. will be true. It's just Christopher that. with the fur. I just want to say, there's Chris me. with the fur. There's boots yeah, with, with the, the fur, <laughs> and then there's Chris Lefer. As you heard that, please forgive me, because I know I butchered that. Did you like, say, please forgive butcher. me? I, please forgive that's me. That's what the Vikings did. <laughs> Ah, uh, we're shouting out to all of our northern brethren. All right. What's up, peoples? Oh, and then uh, uh, Hamam from mm. Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. We've gone international. We are worldwide. We are Much like Pitbull. Yes, except slightly... Uh, well, you have more hair than Pitbull. I've got a little bit more hair than he, he does. Hair and than twice Pitbull. the moves. And you actually I sound better more hair than, than Pitbull. He, he needs an auto-tune. <laughs> So what episode is this? This is episode oh. 48. 48. So 48? Very, very movies. memorable 48 for those two people. There you go. But yeah, made it special. I think Bubba's saying move on. No, no, I'm just He's saying, saying it's great. Don't appeal it's to just, just two people. It's move on for hey, the mass market. It's for you guys. Uh, Chris Soul Train sent us an email. Soul Train. Uh, yes. He, he's requesting, of course, Enrique to come back, which is a thing. It would Huge make mistake. sense that he would do a request with the name Soul Train. Yeah. Uh, it, <laughs> I, have a, I, have a, I have a question. I have a question for, Miss, for Mrs. Soul Train. I need to know, and I need an Mrs. email sent to boardgamesnobs at gmail.com. I need to know, is she Team Jerry or is she Team Gobby? That's very important. Because Everybody's Team Jerry. Not everybody. No. And now that we've thrown Enrique in you're the mix. You're salty. And now you got, now you got Bubba's in the mix. I mean, now Bubba's here. I should be in the mix. Bubba, Bubba, I don't know if you know this, but mm-hmm. we talk about you on a fairly regular basis, and you've never appeared. <laughs> well, I, I was... A, I you're was our the, IT guy. I was in the prequel, though. He was in the prequel. I was in the prequels. That's was I true. not? Yeah, he was. That's true. He was. That so. counts. And he was a technically. And as our IT guy, what have you done for us lately? Not, not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. I have been observing and making notes. All right, this we is what tried. happened when you left and stopped we being tried. the sound guy. Uh-huh. We had a soundboard that he installed uh-huh. that literally was nothing but fart noise. Uh-huh. <laughs> we so- and we rated the top two farts. <laughs> 
We did. It, Things wow. went bad there for a while. It went bad. <laughs> brought it, it back. went very bad. And so we finally kind of got that got that under control. Okay. That's I would point. love to have a soundboard, but I don't... I've, can you control yourself? No. You can't. I feel no. You know you I'd, can. I'd be go full radio morning DJ. <laughs> we are done with the banter. Okay. Okay. We clear the banter. Done. Okay. You know, we are moving on. We may have to edge out, so we're going to talk about... Jerry takes off his glasses and closes his eyes and gets serious. Here we go. Take a drink. Take, Take a drink. drink. Uh, this episode brought to you by Monkey Shoulders. What Monkey Shoulders. <laughs> can you do that? What? Can you just call out somebody and say you brought it? I bought this. Gobby oh, okay. bought this scotch. Okay. I'm drinking this scotch. This scotch is helping me podcast. Thus, this podcast is being assisted by Monkey oh Shoulders. Gotcha. It's a scotch. How old of the scotch, Gobby? Um, not that old. Batch 27. That doesn't. Smooth and rich. It does not. It doesn't give the age. That's rooted not. in malt whiskey history. It's rooted. It doesn't say how old it is. I really like Monkey Shoulders. For the price, this is probably one of my. How much it goes? How much is this? It's not very much. Here at the local liquor store, which is severely overpriced, it was like $39. Oh, mm. okay. Now I can understand that. <sighs> but if you go to Dallas, you could probably get it for 30 Nice. Yeah. Monkey shoulders, for those in the know. Uh, we're going to talk about Vikings 878, which was a game that Bubba and I and Enrique played at BGG last year. Yes, sir. We loved it. It was great. We bought it. Wonderful. Gobby gripped about it. <laughs> Didn't want to play it. Today, we convinced him to play it. Mm -hmm. Huzzah. Enrique. Yeah? I'll go with you. Tell me what you thought about Vikings. I loved it. Like, because I played, played it as the Vikings, it <laughs> you have to put a lot of pressure on the defending team. So much pressure where they they have to make very, very smart decisions to, like, defend themselves against the evading berser berserkers and vi Vikings and all that. And it was great, and with me, with me and Bubba on the team, mm -hmm. and then you and Gabby as the the Brentons. If they, we they, were the Thanes and the House Carls. I don't know what a Thane or a House Carl is, but I will say this: according to the game, the Thanes tend to run and flee the battlefield <laughs> quite That's often. True. Live to fight another day. I say, live to Woo! fight another day. I regress. Back to describe Vikings briefly for those who are not in the know. I believe it's made by Academy Games, and if you're familiar with their franchise of um, what's what's the other game that they had, like 1776, Mary Uh No, no, no I'm talking about Mary other uh, other games in lines. Oh. With that. I think it's 1776 was one. Yeah, Rebellion. but they make they make these historical war games that are particularly simple with mechanics, but are in depth with Advanced the strategy. Risk. Basically, advanced risk is what Gobby likes Art to call it. Is that actual me me mechanic? No, it's no. just what Gobby likes to say. Uh, so in this game, it is actually a four-player game. It can be two-player or three-player, but mainly it's best when you have four people, two on each side, one being the invading Vikings, the other people being the uh, defending Britons. The Britons get their reinforcements every time they have their turn, and so they slowly build up. Uh, armies, whereas the Vikings each turn flip a card over and land scads of Vikings onto the, a random shore or a shore of their choosing. And the game is basically to be able to take so many, control a certain amount of areas through a certain amount of time. Uh, this is a very broad uh, description of it, but you each have your own custom dice, and the dice are either you inflict damage or you flee. And it's very comical when your entire army who is winning decides to start fleeing uh, needless, to need needless to say, uh, well, there was a lot of running away on Gobby's, on, your part. on our part. Run away, live to fight another day. <laughs> that, I, I just went in say. there for blood. <laughs> I loved it because I, <laughs> I killed everyone. <laughs> I like how you did the sword. I, I, I like, I like sword how he starts making gestures with the Cervantes. The, 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 yes, yes. Very good, Cervantes. <laughs> Bubba, what did you think about the game? Well, first of all, let me say I'm a, a tad bit biased because, you know, I won. But um, <clears throat> I think it always helps. It always helps. You need a little bias to it. For a, what would you say, a simulation dice rolling area control game. I thought, I love the game because it's simple. It's easy. Dude, you can pick it up, start playing it, and you get it like instantly. And that's the great thing about it. But it, it's hard because, man, you can you got to think, think it through. I will say that this game is particularly light. In the mechanics, like yes. once you have learned this game, it was a, almost a year ago when we yes. played it. 
it was very intuitive yes. that time. And, and then it picking the, it up a year later was seamless. It was it was pretty quick. Yeah. Um after I, a twenty minute Rodney video. Uh, well, well we did, I think we watched that well, Rodney that video fine. for you. Fine. Yeah. We that's watched. true. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I mean, well, I went to sleep. Me. I went halfway to sleep on yeah. that video. And you know Enrique but didn't listen to it. You know I, I did better from Jerry. I was in my Scottish shock. So the Your what? I I drink the, I, drank, oh, I, was shock. Uh, oh, I was in Scottish yeah. shock. Yeah. 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 I didn't get that. Scotch ship. Yeah. <laughs> well then. <laughs> so please don't take about twenty percent off there, Gobby, on the on the dad jokes there. You're killing me. <laughs> uh, this game has an interesting mechanism where you just have three cards in your hand. You play that card and it depicts how many armies you can move and how far you can move those armies, and it's up to you to kind of decide. It being a team game, your partner can at times make moves that are not uh, ideal. I not ideal, and it's difficult that to have to let your partner be the one to decide. Well, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to take our armies and march up north, and mm. and leave our. <laughs> But it's soft underbelly, watch. open for. Uh, you just throwing out a, a random example. I'm just throwing though, this right? out. A random example. And you could see how somebody who is perhaps a type A personality, who likes to essentially come up with plans far ahead of time, would have difficulty playing this game with somebody who drives off with more of emotion and and tends to, you know, see something shiny and pursue it. Again, like just me. a random this example. This is a random though. example. Random example. And how at the very last, victory can be snatched from you just by one simple area that you happen to lose control of because you don't have the required uh, armies because they have apparently been set up north on some sort of recon mission to secure some uh, area that wasn't that important. Just as an example. Again, a, a random I feel, example. I feel like you're recapping on, Rhetorical. The, on our Rhetorical. last game. So, I love this game. The reason that it doesn't get played in our group is because I love this game. Enrique loves this game. Bubba loves this game. There's a certain person here who does not love this game. I'm not going to say any name. But in hypothetical, in this hypothetical scenario, I would Could say, I say that... No. Uh-huh. that if it had worked, it would have been a brilliant move. On the on on the the the, the, the northern trajectory, we'll pay, say. Yes. In but gladly if he had happen. won it out, it would have been brilliant. Little did I know the Thanes like to run <laughs> at every battle. Yes. Hey, run. Yes. You run, were baby run. You were dice plagued, shall we say? Dice plagued. <laughs> yes. Wow. Gabby, they were scared. Tell me your thoughts on the game because you cropped about it most of the time. <laughs> and I don't know why you don't like it because you had so much fun playing it. But as soon as it was over, rolling, we you were just bellowing about it. I have come to accept the fact that I am just a Euro guy. You have? Like, that's what I like. I like the games that you're collecting this, collecting that, purchasing that, purchasing this. Uh, that's just my style. And I used to think that war games would be my thing. Oh, would that be a war game? That's a They're risk not. game. That's a risk game, right? But I mean, you're battling. Well, that's true. But people don't die. You're rolling dice. You're battling. Yes, I did enjoy it. But at the same time, no. Like, there's something missing to me. And I don't know what it is. There was no. Know. It, it was. Just, it's just. Yeah. It doesn't scratch an itch that I have. There was no trading in the Mediterranean. There was no trading. Uh, let me. Let I needed to sell some wine and cloth <laughs> and purchase some victory points. So I couldn't I, do it. I'm going to just let him rest for a moment. Okay. And we're talk to you, Bubba, about okay. this. So just oh, let's no. just recap what this man just said. Okay. I'm a Euro gamer, as he gesticulates and says that uh, doesn't quite understand what he's missing. I'm not a war gamer. This man. Hey. Text me. You don't have to do this. Why I am in a movie theater. We'll go in there with my children this. watching Dumbo. Oh wow! Oh, wow! And I was saying, oh, says, guess what I just ordered? I think I'm going to get into some more gaming. I said, what are you talking about? He ordered Cuba Libre, uh-huh. the go. coin series, and was it I Command? Need to was it was further? It, Command what? Battle Co- Commander? Uh, I don't know. No, the, the Commander Europe. Uh, the not Field Commander. It's not, uh, field commander. Commander. it's not field commander. It's, 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 I know what field commander is. Anyways, I've seen that. So he he started ordering these chits and hexagonal war games and counterinsurgency. Oh, wow. No dice though. Say no dice. 
because that's what sold him and says, <laughs> I think we need to do an episode. We need to try out something new. Uh-huh. Uh, a little so different. this Euro gamer, mm. which I'm shocked. You're all the way. Hey, both those games happen in Europe, except Cuba. <laughs> huh? Western We're... Europe is Cuba. No, <laughs> he's looking more like Rado each and every day. Oh wow! He's just turning into but, a wuss. <laughs> trade some but, stuff. If we were talking about uh, our types of games we like to play, it's just I think every one of us has a favorite type of uh, play uh, type of game that has a certain play style. Uh, see, I don't know if I have a certain type of game. It may be because I don't play it all the time like you guys. Yeah. I enjoy a game for the most part if everybody around me enjoys the game. For some reason, that is a big thing, a big draw for me. I do have particular games that I'm fond of, but that's my that's my 10 cents. So it depresses me that Gobby didn't have the greatest fun. I had a good time. I mean, I'm sure you had, had a good time. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, we wouldn't be going on a second date, though. That's what you're saying. I oh. would say. Oh, snap. Oh. I would say. Oh, oh snap. See, this is how you kick up the sexiness on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go Even ahead. though. Like, it increased if we, the drama. If we had played... The- what are you doing? <laughs> Keep your hands what? and your Stop. chicken fingers to Stop yourself. The table. And this is why it's this a bad is, idea. This to is do why the video. you don't come on the podcast that so often. If Get the we had one. played 878 again right then, which I didn't want to, yeah. but I think if I did, I would have enjoyed it more because I would know how the game plays. I get it. Mm. That makes sense. The way the game played, I was just over. Well, like, oh, we're going to lose. We're going to lose. Because, yeah. like, the Vikings just blow up every shore and just run. <laughs> but I understand it's a game of, well, the, the English just need to survive. Yeah. And I I think if I played it again, I might enjoy it more now that I understand it. Because even the video was like, Rodney went on for 20 minutes about this, this, and that. Mm-hmm. But it's way super simple. Yeah. You play a card. You reinforce if you can. It's super simple, yeah. And roll your dice and fight. Yeah. Or move. Much. That's pretty it. Much. And I, I think if I played it again, I might enjoy it a little bit more. It's just, it's kind of that learning curve, even though it's a very simple game. Mm-hmm. I'm a simple guy. I feel And you. I just, I don't know. Well, let, let me ask you this then. Do you think that if you had a different partner as well, you might have enjoyed well, it more? Well, you know, some well, partners well, can be... Uh, not throwing it out there, but... Harsh yeah. and judgmental <laughs> okay. and, you Let's know... Let's just say that... Well, Dobby, I'm not the Dobby only one that lost Jerry battles. <laughs> just say <laughs> oh, I would go in Very this Very functional <laughs> team. <laughs> Jerry just say that. that. I think we we supported each other. Oh yeah, like we we got it. Like well, we, that's we a mistake. It's a mistake to put me on a team with Jerry in the first place because we're just going to argue no matter what. Uh, y'all did good though. I will say that there was it, that game ended great. It like, ended great. Well, yeah, it could have ended even better, but it like, ended good. Like me and Bubba just kind of like did our like did our thing and. And I did, Never a co- I, I, I did a couple of good I whispered moves. in his ear, he whispered in my ear. <laughs> I, Me and Jerry didn't whisper, we hollered. The, there was like one move I didn't notice that was really good, but he was able to notice, and I was like, oh, oh yeah. But as far as a Viking-themed game, I like it. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. As opposed to Champions of or 4? Of. Of Midgard. We attempted that one again, yeah. and it's like you can battle these monsters and trolls, and but it's not exciting at all. Mm-hmm. Like I yeah. would take eight seventy eight any day, any time over Champions of Midgard. And Mid- Champions of Midgard is supposed to be like this worker placement game that everybody mm-hmm. loves because you can worker place stuff, and at the same time you can go battle, you can roll dice. It's boring. We've tried it again. We weren't even halfway, and wow. then, like again, we're like, like Jerry was about to go fight a monster, but then it's like, hey. It seems like you forgot some uh, food for your troops. Uh, my my Vikings died on the boat ride over. Oh, wow. It was very... Uh, <laughs> so you forgot to pack. I forgot to pack. They, they had their mindset on one thing. <laughs> this is, <laughs> they forgot to pack food. This, this is my thing. No sandwiches for the Vikings. Ch- uh, do do Vikings... What do Vikings eat? Apparently, fish, just raw pieces of meat. Fish. Fish. In people's lives. But, okay. I don't uh, think those think in Greenland like, don't do that now. I think they like probably they have a Tesco like, or something. They, they have Tesco. They have a okay. Tesco. They're modernized. They don't have Walmart like we <laughs> yeah. do. They've got they've Tesco. been gentrified. <laughs> they've got Tesco. They have Tesco and, and okay, all quick that. question. Go ahead. What? Oh, quick question. Another query. <laughs> query. You say. What defines a Viking? Wouldn't they nomadic people? That, well, they were just essentially people who realized. Now, nah, boy, hang on a minute. 
Denva's going to have to, I feel her firing up. She's going to have to email me and tell Please me how do. wrong I am. But Vikings are not so much nomadic, but I would assume that they are. But they raided. They they knew where they had to go to get their resources. I think they are not so much like colonialism, we're, but they were more of a of a seafaring, traveling, explorers. Do we call them Vikings in retrospect, or was that what they were called then? I, I don't know. I think they may have been. I think they labeled themselves. I think they were really like different factions at the time. Yeah, right? I don't think that they were as, like, as coordinated see, like as in, the Vikings in Minnesota. Even when we're playing that game, it's, it's calling them Norsemen. Norsemen. Yeah. So what is that? Is but that a, the, because is that a from, specific they were from the country? No, that was because they were North men. North. Yeah. That okay. way. They were from that way. Like, so uh, just a general area yeah. of people yeah. they were yeah. considered Much like, Norsemen and, slash Vikings. Like, yeah. Kind of like how they, they were consider pirates. people from Iowa. So they, they just decided we don't <laughs> or like Norsemen. the title. Or people Norsemen. from out west. We so say we California. Yeah, that was from Alabama. Yeah, yeah. Where is he from? He's out west. He's out west. Enrique, something you need to Enrique talks steady. Is Enrique well, talking? <laughs> he was talking. Did he? Did we he were talking with him. <laughs> it was a harmonic cadence. When other people are talking, uh, Enrique is just having a conversation. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I need to turn someone's mic off. It's going to be very confusing. The thing that I, now, it, there's so, there's many misconceptions about Vikings, and I don't ah, know. Yes. I like, for instance, they their helmets didn't have horns. For the people up north, because we're talking about you. The North one, they were like super astronomy, astro- whatever people. Astrologists. Astrologists. I mean, they could navigate the seas. They were the best at it. They had some of the best technology at the time. And the great thing about it, like unlike what? I mean, they, a pointier stick. I mean, they were serious. But you realize what technology that unlike Did they have back then besides boats. Well, it's a <laughs> funny thing. Oh, people, I got the fastest yeah. people like, don't. Well, like, people I'm don't. My am very limited. Is rolling. Well, people don't. It's just rolling right now. People don't see it this way, but unlike the Europeans who pretty much conquered everybody and took over everything and you know enslaved generations of people, the Vikings could have done that if they wanted to, and yet they got their stuff, looted, and went back home. Which is the best type. So of they, which is the settle. best type of looter. They, they didn't, didn't settle. settle. No, they didn't. They didn't come over and conquer. They just people. got what they wanted and went back home. But right. they also didn't loot. Oftentimes, they traded with people. They were actually pretty cool about that. Mm. So, by the way, there's a show on Discovery Channel. Very important. The search for Skull Island. Update you on some of this. Ah. Very ah. <laughs> no, Where so, King Kong lives. Yeah, yeah right. That one. No, not that one. As soon as we find him. <laughs> <laughs> so, peace up, Discovery Channel. Thank you. I like the Discovery Channel. It's I was watching. Uh, I like to too many off. animal shows. I like the animal <laughs> shows. Did you, I, I don't, my I kids hurt. collect. My kids. All right. You, you, I don't want to see a baby bear die. You started this, but cub. my kids collect. Like they have like stuffed animals, and occasionally they get these weird stuffed animals. And so Jack the other day got a narwhal. You know what a what? narwhal is? No. It's like a dolphin. It's got that long, it looks like a horn hmm. coming out of the head. Oh, yeah. But that's oh, yeah. not a horn. That's their left tooth. That's actually a tooth. It's just that big horn coming out of their forehead. Anyways, wow. I, gave, I did the dad joke of the century just a few days ago. He comes in there and Something, says, something on porpoise. No, he says, no, better. He says, dad, I can't find my narwhal. Help me. And I walked around looking. I said, he's narwhal to be found. <laughs> That was like three days ago. I have laughed about that every single day. I have thought about that. And that's how you know you have entered this stage in your life where, where you just, those jokes mean something, something to, to you. Now. That's right. That's a moment. Used to, they're irritating. Yeah. Now they're wonderful. Yes. Uh, so did Jack, roll their did, eyes. did Jack laugh at it? No, wonder. he didn't get it. But okay. that, he's narwhal. He's just a found. boy. He doesn't just understand. But at some day. When he's a know, man and he's a father. Understand. To backpedal on this, yes. I approve Vikings 878.9. Vikings. Gabby? I love it. I think it is probably. I don't right now, but if I could have tried to play. If I had Vikings back in the day instead of Risk, this is what I've been playing. It's oh, yeah. simple. It's great. Oh, yeah. Uh, we talked briefly about Champions of Midgard. Now, we might as well just kill some sacred cows while we're out here. Oh, well, well we, we've know. done it. We, we, we talked about it once already. Well, I'm going to... But du- we tr- gave it another shot. I gave it another shot. And here's d- what the problem was. We just played Stone We're Age. We're all about second chances. We just mm. played Stone Age, the anniversary yes. edition. We turned right around, and I said, you know what this kind of reminds me? This is an entry-level, slightly uh, step-up type game. Step Let's up. compare it with Champions step up too. of Midgard. Dance around the subject. I did not like... I can barely handle two of you. I did not like... <laughs> 
champions of Midgard. It nope. it seemed like it was the theme is the, the idea. I like the theme. That's the really the too. only thing that I like about it is the theme. The but to take cool. but take a worker placement and you're with, fighting monsters. With you're the, a Viking. What? How can that not be fun? But yet it's not. I don't get because, it. I don't because, get it. Because it's very... By me just playing it only for a little bit, it's... To you guys, it's very repetitive. It, very. Very what, repetitive. What is going and, and, on with Enrique having Enrique. cohesive thoughts? I mean, he has yeah. the hit. That was cohesive. Continue, put together. Continue on. Continue like, on, sir. And, Professor? And, and I'm pretty sure you, you guys mentioned you do not like repetitive games. Or know. repetitive actions. Over well... That's a Just, good point. Yeah, I game. said, that, and that's what I said. I said, the more there's the not podcast, much to do with this game. The more I like you. You either fight a monster, or you gather food, or gather dice. Fight a monster, gather food, gather dice. Fight, I mean, that's it. I, I wish that. I wish Gobby would let you on the podcast more. <laughs> don't know why he's <laughs> always like, he Professor E, like. man. It was nice. You <laughs> laid down some knowledge. That was some good. I will let him. He's, he he's allowed. He's allowed He's now? a BGS member. Enrique? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. You can now co-host. Yay. Oh, yeah. I'm taking over the Enrique spot. Now I have two co-hosts. Please wow. come on. <laughs> so are you saying then that you're disagreeing with the whole high rating of Board Game Geek that I just looked up? That's 7.8. Oh, no. oh 7.8 for, yeah. for, for, for Champions of Midgard? Yes, sir. Uh, everybody loves it. Everybody loves, everybody it. loves that everybody game. Loves so why, does, why, do, why then do people like it and you do not? Here's I, why. Because we do not. There are decent. There's decent. We're snobs. <laughs> there is decent artwork. Uh-huh. It, it, it is very entry level, and the theme is str- the theme is something that catches people's attention. Vikings and and this fighting at barbarians and trolls and various other things. The dice Barbarian are horse. the dice are custom, and it, there is this idea of oh I'm, I'm going here I'm doing this I'm going here I'm doing that. It's a very very light entry level Euro, Euro game. It, it could be most likely for a a family who are get, who are getting their children children into board games. Yes, or either just having a, like a light, children. A light. Let's light slay some droggers. Some <laughs> Trolls. It's just troll. But it's just a very great it's just show. a very light game. And mm. it's it it. It gets a lot more love than what it should, just simply because it's, it's, of the thing. It's Everybody's mainly the gen. Uh, g- uh, I can't say words. You can do it. General population. Yes. Boom. Gen pop. Gen pop. Gen pop. Yeah. Black like D. Black like D. Okay. G pizzle. There you go. Jizzle pizzle. Don't so, get me started. Put it in a crowd. It would get shaped. I can a lot drop of the it because yes. I've got. I've <laughs> got. I've got, I got you. The, my finger on the pulse of hip hop. The champions of Midgard. The, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't say that. What? what? Don't, don't say Okay, that. okay. What, uh, <laughs> Have but... you showed you the picture? <laughs> we'll talk about it. Okay. Nice. I made it rain during uh, uh, Raccoon yeah. Tycoon. Did you uh, post that? No, I haven't posted that. You need to post okay. that. Don't we have another... But Ch- Champions of Midgard is just... Uh, uh, we reviewed I don't like it, it once. We didn't like it. We gave it another shot thinking maybe we missed something. No, we still don't like it. Uh, no. Now, Raiders of the North Sea. Uh, the North, <laughs> which is a game that Gobby dearly loves. I not dearly, you but I like it a lot. Dearly love it. I like it. Don't you don't tell me you what I like. Dearly, you're over there fawning over it. Don't All tell me what time. I fawn over. You fawn. There you are fawning. You're no fawn. Uh, it has raiders in it what? and has arc. So I mean, I'm good. <laughs> I just think of the movie and then I want to play raiders the game. raiders on there. I have no idea. You want to look it up? I got you. It, it I like raiders way better than Champions of Midgard. Definitely. It definitely, definitely, definitely. If I had to pick one over the better other, better art. It's a brighter board. It's a better. I like it way better. I like champions. I'm, I don't like champions of Midgard. I do have it, but I don't think I can do it. I will say that Raiders of the North Sea is a much superior entry level game. And if I was going to recommend, this would be my recommendation. If you're a Euro gamer and you're looking for something light and worker placement resource collection. Completely ignore Champions of Midgard. Go straight to Raiders of the North Sea. Yes. If you are a Marathrash gamer and you enjoy conflict, mm-hmm. and you have a group that enjoys conflict, then definitely Vikings 878 is one of the best Ameritrash games I have played in a long time. I would I would say I agree with that. We had an excellent time playing this. Anytime I get out of my chair with the excitement, I'm good with the game. There you go. And I like was, to see Bubba excited. I, I do. I, I don't get excited that a lot. Weird. <laughs> that man is very excited. 
I, I, I overlooked that, that sentence when you said it, but I was just letting it ride. <laughs> no, I like it though. It's good. <laughs> it's good. I, cut that. You can I, cut like, that. I was, I was like, I said it. I was like, Bubby, you need to come over. You need to play this game because Jerry said y'all had a good time. That's true. I know you like being pitted against Jerry in a battle of uh, battles and wits. That's we true. haven't talked about Bubba being my nemesis. Bubba is. Jerry's I will nemesis. lose a game just so that I could call yeah. you yeah. this <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> and in my book, I won. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and that Bubba is not has a good actually attitude. helped me win several games <laughs> when it's me, Bubba, and Jerry. Because Bubba takes down Jerry, Jerry yes. takes down Bubba, and then I sneak up the rear. <laughs> it's not right. I don't know what drives me, but it just does. Oh, that's the Viking way. It's the Viking way. Well, that's our thoughts. If you are Ameritrash gamers, you're going to love Viking 7, 878. If you're looking for a worker placement and you're more of the Euro type, Raiders of the North Sea is a good look. The hype around Champions of Midgard is just... We I, haven't played it with the expansion, which everybody says, oh, that's the big deal. I, uh, I'm you not know my thoughts an, on that. If you I'm need not gonna an expansion, buy, it's not a good best right. game. I'm not going to buy an expansion to a game I do not enjoy to see if it makes it better. Although we've done that in the past. I've done it before. Thank you, 17 <laughs> different <laughs> expansions <laughs> of Terraforming Mars. That's going to do it for us. That's a good game. We thank you so much for Please. your listenership. We thank you for all your well wishes for Enrique. Enrique did get feeling better. He's better. He is, although he's still ill, he's wearing sleeves. Oh, yeah. Hopefully next week he'll be back to his old sleeveless self. And his hair, I, will, and his hair will be done. Yes. Uh, comb your hair. Please. That's right. I mean, Until hair, next right? time, I'm Gabby. This is Jerry. This is Enrique. Peace. It's Bubba. Thank you for listening to the Board Game Snobs. Stay classy. Stay classy.